folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Good things come to those that wait. Been doing some investigation about these earthquakes near La Poc, California. They're actually along the Santa Ynez Fault River uh, system. You can see Santa Ynez River Fault. And it goes all the way down here to Vandenberg Air Force Base Space Launch Complex 6. And I found a document where they did an earthquake study for Vandenberg Air Force Base Launch Complex. Let me show you. This paper was declassified. And you can see Seismic Hazard Estimation Study for Vandenberg Air Force Base. November 14th, 1979, and it's got another stamp here from 1980. The link for this document will be down below in the in more information uh, below this video. There has been four earthquakes in this location, a magnitude 3.2, yeah, above sea level. Uh, let me click on that so I can make it larger. See how down here it's got a minus 0 0.1 all earthquakes are measured from sea level so this is um yeah less than a kilometer above sea level the, um, the magnitude 3.2 occurred at 8 55 p.m late last night it was given an intensity level of five and 817 people said they felt this earthquake Here's the felt report on USGS and right there, intensity level 5, 466 reports. Intensity level 5 means it was felt by most people. They got breakage of dishes, maybe windows, cracks in their walls, disturbance of tall objects. There was only one report sent in to EMSC so we can see what they felt. So that report was uh, almost 48 miles northwest. And it says uh, San Luis Obispo, very light shaking in the floor and walls. No damage, maybe lasted five seconds. Uh, so that's quite a ways away for a magnitude 3.2. I was really hoping they have a moment tensor ball so we could see what was going on. Um, with this earthquake, what direction the, the fault movement was and things like that. Desert Hot Spring, one report, intensity level two. And Bakersfield, one report, intensity level two. Uh, Pismo Beach, intensity level two, three reports from there. Let's see, Santa Monica. Um, intensity level two, one report there. Okay, we got intensity level two there. So, yeah, 42 reports here. Intensity level three and 20 reports intensity level three. I would like to know what kind of damage you had. You know, as you know that earthquakes can be created by people. So, yeah, I really wanted a moment tensor ball to figure out if it was man-made or natural. Then at 12.45 a.m., um, yeah, there probably wasn't a lot of people up. Um, there was a magnitude 2.4. Five people said they did feel it. That was given an intensity level of four. There's the uh, center for the earthquake. And right there. Now, intensity level four felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, they were woken up. Maybe that's the five people that were woken up and sent in reports. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Autos rocked noticeably. Then, a few moments later, at 1249 local time, there was a magnitude 3.6. 602 people said they felt it. Again, intensity level four. Five. I always say that any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. So the uh, 2.4 and the 3.2 could be considered foreshocks. Here's the felt map 
Let's see. Intensity level six. Wow. 29 reports there. They would also have damage. Felt by all. Many frightened and ran outdoors. Falling plaster. Not just cracks in the plaster. Like intensity level five would have been. But chimneys uh, might have fallen. Yeah. Uh, damage small. What kind of damage did you have? From that um, 3.6 earthquake. Put your comments down below. I hope you're watching this video. If you are. Yeah 29 people said that they had damage. So let's bring this out. And we got a little bit farther south. Let me go to closer to the epicenter. Uh, 302 there. Intensity level 5. Off the coast or near the coast. Yeah, it looks like the energy was uh, probably, because I don't have a moment tensor ball. Yeah, the energy was pushed towards the east, maybe a little bit south. Let's see, Burbank, uh, from the beautiful downtown city of Burbank, California. Laugh in. Intensity level three. That's an old sitcom if you guys aren't familiar with the... Uh, old uh, TV shows back probably what in the 80s so this was one of the very few places I could find out about that earthquake fault zone um, here it says terrestrial science division of the Air Force geophysics laboratory in support of both the space transporter system and the MX missile program has conducted an evaluation of the Seismic Hazard at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Vandenberg Air Force Base is located on a coastal south central California in an area uh, forming the boundary between two physiographical regions. The southern end of the facility, Point Argello, lies within the Transverse Range Province, while the northern part of the facility, is the coastal ranges. The border between these two regions runs approximately along the northern edge of the Santa Ines River Fault. And they give you an image here. And I had to flip the document to show it. Let me pull this over a little bit. So here we have um, the mountain range. Uh, let me bring this over. Do, 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 do. You can see it's a um, it's a long fault system. Okay, the northern edge of the Santa Ines Mounts on a general east-west trend north of Honda along the Santa Ines River Fault. The uh, tectonic and geographic history of the area is dominated by the effects of the overriding of the ancestral East Pacific rise by the North American Plate during the late late Xenozoic. Yeah, you want to give me a word to slaughter and I'll do it. The coastal ranges are thought to have resulted from the collision of the North American plate and a mini continent during the late Jurassic as the North American plate overrode an ancestral rise trench system located off the Pacific coast. So I wondered if that was part of the original Juan de Fuca plate which is currently off the coast of um, Oregon and Washington. So the coastal ranges are thought to have resulted from the collision of the North American plate and a microcontinent during the late Jurassic as the North American plate overread, overrode an ancestral rise trench located off the Pacific coast. Then it goes on to the rifting, you know, the uh, division where California and the San Andreas Fault was formed. Yeah, um, the Riviera Triple Junction generated rifting along the Baja Pacific Coast. Okay, and it, you know, that area of land is slowly moving north. On the basis of the earthquake epicenter reported on this file, 11 significant source regions were identified within a radius of 500 kilometers of Vandenberg Air Force Base. So that would be about 310 miles. If I sound excited, I am. I just love learning new information about earthquakes and yeah, this about our government. 
So they calculated the earthquake risk between, um, it could have a 0 0.5 magnitude all the way up to a 9 or 10. <laughs> yeah, let's build an Air Force base there. Let's see. Um, area, yeah. Garlock. Okay. Then they did displacement over a range of magnitudes from a 4 to a magnitude 8 are shown. During recent history, the largest event to affect the Vandenberg Air Force Base region was the 1927 Lompoc earthquake, the maximum intensity level of 9 reported to have covered the area of Vandenberg Air Force Base from Prisma Point South and Razi Forel intensity level of eight, the most uh, most of the western Santa Barbara County. I got that marked out, and I got some information for you. Let's see. Okay, right there, nineteen twenty-seven, a magnitude six point nine. Actually, it was probably a magnitude seven point zero, and it created a tsunami that even registered there in Hawaii. Um, the original document that I filed said it had an intensity level of 9, caused widespread damage in several towns of Santa Barbara. Um, 6 feet 7 inches tsunami damaged railroads and other infrastructure. Let's see, the tsunami uh, was recorded in Hawaii. Originally, they said it was a magnitude 7.6, and because of the size of the tsunami, I don't know how they could figure that, they thought the earthquake was actually um, lower in magnitude. Uh, recent research said it was probably a, a fault off of point conception, and it was a reverse faulting mechanism. Let me bring this out. I have it labeled. Um, this is the Hasgree Fault. Um, it's probably about 87 miles in length or about 140 kilometers. I'm not sure if it goes farther out here. This is all I could find to map it out. So that earthquake um, was felt up to 120 miles from different data that they've been able to find. You know, newspaper reports and things like that. Um, it was even reported in Yosemite, which was 250 miles away, so it could have been a lot farther that they felt the shaking. Railroad workers stationed at Sur and Pismo Beach described the tsunami as a large storm wave and no recession of the ocean. So they didn't see it go back. They just had a large wave came in uh, when it first struck. Um, it was described as a large storm wave. Um, besides, you know, lots of damage. There was blowholes reported. Um, chimneys fell. And one building in White Hill suffered from collapsed walls. The town of Santa Marina and its surrounding uh, reported cracks in old brick walls. Uh, detached... Um, Commises, I guess that was like, you know, in the olden times, they had fancy roof moldings made out of cement. Let's see, and I think there is some more earthquakes out here, historical. Okay, uh, 1925, a 6.8. 1812, a 7.1, with also a tsunami. And then, yeah, I got two different locations for the one in 19 no 1927 a 7.0 okay so there was two earthquakes in 1927 anyways yeah i found it quite interesting i'm gonna have to research those two earthquakes and make sure i got it right um what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe like i said all links will be down below this video in the more information box this is the web address if you can read this https dot dot slash slash a p p s dot d t i c dot 
M I L forward slash S T I forward slash T R forward slash PDF forward slash and then it's capital A D A zero eight two four five eight dot PDF. I did that for those of you that might be on a, um, a phone or a tablet or maybe your Fire um, TV and don't have access to the uh, more information box. But that's where this military document is at. So do you think maybe it's a foreign country that's trying to uh, uh, create an earthquake to affect the uh, Air Force Base here? Yeah, Vandenberg Air Force Base? I don't know. What are your thoughts? An act of nature, an act of God, or an earthquake machine? Put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, make sure you're still subscribed. Uh, the end of the, every month, YouTube's little AI bot likes to unsubscribe people, claiming you guys are a bot. I know you're not. And always be prepared for a disaster. Um, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.